I was going to do a best and worst of Beauty of Joseon, but I couldn't think of any bad products. Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And I am going to be counting down my top five skincare picks from Beauty of Joseon. Yes, only five. <laughs> it was not easy, but I have done it. And you know, this is really one of my favorite K-Beauty brands because number one, it is very affordable with really good quality products, but I think the biggest reason why I love them so much, and I have actually loved them for so many years, is because they're really so good at taking traditional Korean ingredients and, you know, really honoring that tradition, but blending it into more modern formulas that are incredibly effective and beneficial for the skin. And that's just something that I really admire. So I can't wait to share with you these five picks. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into it. My number five pick is Dynasty Cream. Oh yeah, my love and truly my nostalgia for this product really runs very deep. Now, this is the moisturizer that saved my skin all the way back in 2015. And let's, you know, rewind back a little bit to like baby Kelly. And I will tell you, you know, I had no idea that my skin was dehydrated. I was just kind of starting to understand what that meant, but I was still definitely, you know, thinking of my skin as just being really oily. You know, it was like like tight feeling underneath and sometimes itchy in the middle of the day, but it was just covered in this like thick layer of oil on top and I was just super confused. And for the longest time, I was just using really, 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 really light creams you know, light gel type creams on my face because I figured with all that oil, you know, I don't want to suffocate or seal off my skin with something heavy and rich, right? So I was probably making things worse because I wasn't using a moisturizer that was fighting the dehydration. It was actually just allowing it to keep happening. And I didn't know I was making the, you know, the problem worse. This was just like that miracle product where my skin was feeling comfortable, not itchy in the middle of the day. It didn't overwhelm my oily skin. And you know, the symptoms that I now know are dehydration were definitely lessened. So, you know, I think it really comes down to the formulation here. And although the formula has changed since 2015, really the core of this moisturizer has not. So as far as ingredient highlights, we do have ceramide NP, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and we also have some skin nourishing oils that still feel light on the skin. And we also have ginseng and rice water. It feels amazing on the skin. It's hydrating and plumping. It's got a little bit of moisture to it, but it just doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It feels very refreshing and very breathable with just enough occlusivity where your skin can breathe without it feeling sealed off. And another thing about the texture that made this really unique when I first tried it is, you know, when you pull the spatula away from the product, you get this like mozzarella cheese, like stringy effect. It's entertaining. It's fun. It's a little bit different than your average moisturizer. It's exactly what my skin needed at the time. It's something I still love to use in warm and humid months, like in the spring and summertime, even my combination skin now, which like I said, wants a little bit more moisture, loves this texture. It just feels so good on the skin. So I think if you're a little bit combo on the oily side, even combo on the dehydrated, maybe just a touch dry, but you want something light, this could be the moisturizer for you. My number four pick is cleansers. And as I said, I was having a hard time picking just five products to highlight in today's video. So I did pick two cleansers. <laughs> I did. Um, I couldn't help myself. Um, but I really do think that both of these deserve a little bit of spotlight in today's video. Let's talk about the Radiance Cleansing Balm first. And this famously is the cleansing balm product that made my oil cleanser loving self really enjoy cleansing balms. You know, you may have noticed I don't talk about cleansing balms a lot because it's just not really my jam. It's just a personal preference. Um, but when I started using this product, 
I really fell for it. I really enjoyed it to my surprise. Um, I really did uh, love this. And you know, this has been a part of my regular sort of like cleansing products. And I think it's for a couple of reasons, but one of the biggest ones that sticks out in my mind is that it breaks down waterproof mascara like very well. And notoriously waterproof, you know, mascara is a pain in the butt to remove. And I just really feel like this just gets in there and really clings to the mascara and really helps melt it away and you don't like sit there and rub and tug at your eyelashes so I think that's the part of the reason why I really love this so much but I also like the texture of this balm it's not like waxy it's not super thick or hard to spread or hard to warm up in fact it like actually melts like luxuriously into your skin it um, it just feels so good it works in so nicely it just slips across the skin beautifully breaks down makeup and sunscreen any dirt or grime that's on your face it just cuts through it really effortlessly and it washes away cleanly there's no residue it doesn't feel like it didn't come off of your skin that's something I've noticed with other cleansing balm products that makes me not like them this just like avoids that pitfall altogether so it's really effective it's still gentle on the skin it has a pleasant texture and it washes away cleanly oh yeah and it's fragrance free have you noticed how hard it is to find fragrance-free cleansing balm products in K-Beauty? And like, this is one of the few that are out there. So I am a big fan. You see why I really wanted to mention it as part of my top five. And I also have to talk about the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser because this feels so nice followed up right after that cleansing balm. This has a really nice jelly texture. It's like really thick and bouncy. It spreads across the skin really nicely and it just like slips and slides. Like <laughs> it's not like your regular gel texture that gets really thin and foamy underneath your fingers. This just has this like really beautiful cushiony feel on the skin. That's just entertaining. There's really no benefit to it other than I like it. <laughs> it feels good. But this is a very gentle cleanser. It's low pH. This is also fragrance free. It doesn't strip my skin of any moisture, but it feels like it's really cleaning my skin. You know, because sometimes really gentle cleansers don't feel like they're doing the job. Do you know what I mean? So this is like doing the job, but not stripping my skin or being really aggressive. And I wanted to uh, mention this one because yeah, not only is it a fun experience, a great cleanser, like really solid performance cleanser this is a really great priced cleanser too this runs about eight to twelve dollars I mean talk about super affordable right so um, this is another worthy one in the cleanser category my number three pick is the relief Sun rice plus probiotic sunscreen this is SPF 50 plus PA plus four now if you like to dive into nitty-gritty deep details about sunscreen I have a dedicated video review I'm going to put right up here for you where you can learn a little bit more in depth about this sunscreen. I'll put it in the description box for you guys too if you want to check that out after this video. But let me just give you like the basics here. This is a fully chemical sunscreen using four all new generation chemical filters. And this is a moisture lover's dream. This is a moisturizing but surprisingly not greasy and really not super heavy sunscreen. I love it. As I mentioned, my combination skin more often than not is leaning a little bit more on the dry side. And especially now that it's been winter, my skin loves this extra layer of moisture on the skin. I don't, I'm going to be very bluntly honest. I don't think this is for oily skin um, people. Uh, it might feel a little too moisturizing or maybe, you know, it feels kind of medium on the skin. It might start to feel heavy. But I will say, if you're somebody who like skips on your moisturizer altogether and just goes straight into sunscreen, or you like a sunscreen that doubles as your moisturizer, if you're trying to say like save on layers, then I think this could be for you. Um, so moisture lovers and those who like to skip out on moisturizer and go straight for sunscreen, you know, perk up your ears. This is definitely an option for you because look at the texture here. You'll notice that it's creamy, but you can see it's not heavy. It's not rich and greasy. It's got really beautiful airy spread on the skin. It settles into the skin really nicely. The dry time here is, is very good and I don't don't really notice like a white cast or like a sunscreeny look to my skin when I put this on. When you apply it 
two, three times, you know, like reapplication, it might start to get a little bit more sunscreeny. What products don't? <laughs> you might notice a little, very whisper, faint white cast after applying it a couple of times. Maybe, is this me being picky? Yes. Is this what you rely on me for? Yes. So I'm going to say it, but I mean, all in all, I couldn't be happier with the way that this sunscreen applies and the way that it performs. It feels great on the skin. It does not pill. It doesn't like break up my makeup. It doesn't make my skin look super duper greasy. Like I just really enjoy this. Um, from the feel to the moisture, to the performance, to the application, just everything about it is just like Mwah, for me. My number two pick is the Ginseng Essence Water. Water. And I think this is actually suitable for pretty much everybody, like every skin type. And this is a true two-in-one multitasking product. I love this so much. You know, it really functions like a toner. This texture, you can see it's really watery. It's quickly absorbed in the skin. There is no moisture. There is no weight. There's no stickiness. It doesn't build up on your skin. You, in fact, can layer this onto your skin a couple of times to achieve like maximum hydration hydration results and let me tell you <laughs> i have dehydrated skin so you know that like when i say something's hydrating just know it's really hydrating and so this feels great on the skin as a toner but it really brings benefits to the skin like an essence would because this has a good amount of ginseng in it and i just feel like ginseng always brightens up my complexion it always makes it look so healthy and so glowy and the best way that i can describe like the way that ginseng makes the skin glow is like when you're working out you know you're working out really hard your like heart is beating you might be sweating but under Underneath that sweat, you're like, hey, my skin is like glowing. I look so like healthy and radiant right now through all this sweat. <laughs> it's that look because ginseng actually kind of like gets your blood flowing and that's what makes your skin just look so vibrant and it gives you so much vitality and makes you look so healthy. Plus ginseng is a super strong antioxidant. It brings lots of well aging benefits to the skin. It's just one of those like skin health ingredients that just seems to benefit everybody. So it's like a toner because it hydrates your skin. It's layerable, but it also brings benefits like an essence would. Like I said, a true two in one product. And I've gone through a few bottles of this already and I just emptied one. Um, this is another backup, um, but I had been recently using this in my skincare routine, exactly like I said, as my toner and essence step all in one. And I noticed that benefit. I was like, my skin just looks so healthy right now. This formulation, and this texture really makes this product sing, really helps you save time, helps you save steps, helps you stay, save money, right? Who doesn't want to do all of those things? So yeah, this is definitely one of my top picks from Beauty of Jason. And drum roll, my number one pick from Beauty of Jason is... The Glow Serum, Propolis Plus Niacinamide. Now I had a really hard time picking because I honestly think the Beauty of Joseon serums are some of the best quality and some of the best affordable serums in K-Beauty today. But I simply just picked the one that I personally use the most and that's the glow serum um, you've heard me rave about this one in the past and I do think that this formula is really geared towards people who may get some inflammation on their skin may get some breakouts some redness and those of us who when you get breakouts and pimples you often are left behind with a dark mark that you're looking to fade that's where this product comes in because this is using all the beautiful anti-inflammation and wound healing abilities and antibacterial abilities of propolis. We have 60% here on the serum, but it's also using 2% of niacinamide. And that's what's gonna go in and help fade the hyperpigmentation on your face. It's a two in one formula. And I must admit, I'm often stuck in that cycle where I'll get a pimple. So I'm trying to work on the pimple and the pimple will go away and then I'll get the dark mark. So then I'm trying to work on the dark mark and then, oh, surprise, here comes another pimple, right? So it's this like constant cycle and this is like two birds one stone type of serum i do want to point out and really lift up the fact that this is all about the formulation coming together because propolis and niacinamide are definitely doing heavy lifting but i also want to point out that there's betaine salicylate in this formula and that is kind of like the cousin to salicylic acid 
Is it like gonna exfoliate your skin to that degree? Absolutely not. I do consider this to be a very sensitive, skin-friendly and gentle serum, but just know that there's a little bit of that like get into the pore and exfoliate it gently um, type of ability, a little gentle salicylate action happening here. We also have Tamanu oil, which um, again, just in a small amount here, but this is actually bringing some more of that wound healing ability. And I think that's why this serum Serum, when I'm using it, it just feels like it's healing my skin. Because when I get breakouts, I get lots of inflammation, I get lots of redness, and my skin is kind of like ailing. And this always seems to just kind of like mend the skin and help it heal up faster. And I think that is why I'm always reaching for this serum too, because it's just kind of constantly delivering for my skin when it's in need, when it's in that cycle of breakouts. It's always helping to calm it down. It's always helping to bring down the inflammation but it's also brightening my skin on top of it. And I think that's what makes this just a little bit more unique from my other favorite serums. Now I have to mention the texture here because it is actually a thicker, slightly more moisturizing gel texture. Um, so I think that, you know, it is gonna feel a little bit more medium weight in your a skincare routine, a little bit more moisturizing. My skin loves it, but I did wanna point out that this isn't like super light and hydrating and watery. It's got a little heft to it. And you may be tempted to put too much on. <laughs> I'm always like super heavy handed with my skincare. I'm always putting on generous layers, but I would really suggest just like putting on like a more like restrained amount with this one because it can build up a little thick on the skin. If you put on too much, it works so good for the skin. It's so affordable, it's so effective. And it's so great, like I said, if you get breakouts, if you get dark marks, if you're constantly stuck in that cycle, you don't need multiple products to solve your issues. You just need something like this. So have you tried anything from Beauty of Joseon that you would consider a top product? Let me know in the comment box below. And if this video helped you and you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do me a favor and consider subscribing before you go. I release a lot of new skincare content throughout the week, so don't forget to turn on notifications too so you're never out of the loop when I drop the new video. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.